Hi, um, it's Lisa again. I thought I would touch base with you all. I had surgery yesterday, the TIF procedure. Um, I meant to do a video yesterday and I just didn't feel like it. Um, I went into the hospital an hour and a half before the procedure time. When I arrived, um, got signed in and everything and they took me back to prepare me. Put in an IV, took a pregnancy test, um, and of course a million questions. Um, then that was pretty straightforward, like if you've had any other kind of procedure, just pretty much what they do then. Um, they will uh, do a pregnancy test if you're female, of course, and if you've not had your tubes tied or a hysterectomy. So be prepared for your own sample if that's you. Um, I uh, came out of surgery after about an hour um, the surgery was. I was in recovery for an hour and a half and then stepped down recovery for another 45 minutes. When I woke up in recovery, I was surprised by the discomfort that I felt. Um, it was pretty uncomfortable. Um, right at the esophagus area, that pressure that I would sometimes get with GERD, where that was strong. Um, they gave me pain medication through the IV and that helped. Um, they also gave me a pain pill before I left the hospital. Um, and it made me gag and gag and gag. Um, like I wanted to throw up, but couldn't. Um, that was very uncomfortable. I myself did that a few more times in the evening, um, but I have, since today, I, I haven't had anything like that. Um, the pain level is, like I said, more than I expected um, because of the inflammation. Uh, the doctor said that that's going to happen. Also, they have you drink a half a cup in a 20-minute span um, and small sips. They do this because anything bigger than a small sip will hurt there at the esophagus area because it's so swollen and for it to get down. So be prepared for that. I did that a couple times and oh, I'm a big water, ice water drinker and I drink all day long. So that's been the hardest thing for me is not being able to just take a big drink. Um, so that's, that's something um, that I wasn't expecting. I knew we were supposed to do that but I just wasn't sure why and that's what he told us. Um, clear liquids for three days and then I can add, um, that includes jello, then I can add pudding and watery mashed potatoes, you can eat baby food I think at that point, um, but so far so good. I feel 70% better today than I did yesterday. Um, I will touch base back on day four when my diet's changing. Um, I've not really been that hungry. I haven't eaten since the day before yesterday. And I think that's because everything's swollen. I'm not sure why. Um, again, I will touch back with you in four days when my diet changes. If you have any questions or something I didn't say that you wanted to know, please feel free to ask me a question and I'll try to answer it for you. See you in a few days.